in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen my dear brother and sister fraternal greetings to you from the carmelite fathers and warm welcome to carmel light reflection on the day's readings it's the 28th of july friday of the 16th week in ordinary time on 28th of july we celebrate the memorial of saint alfonso it's a memorial in india saint alfonso was born on 19th august 1910 near kottayam in kerala nicknamed as anna kutti means little ann her mother died when she was young so her maternal aunt raised her anna joined the franciscan clarist congregation a religious congregation of the third order of saint francis and later she arrived at the clarist convent kottayam on pentecost sunday 1927 in 1945 she had a violent outbreak of illness a tumor which had spread throughout her organs transformed her final years of life into a continuous agony gastroenteritis and liver problems caused violent convulsions and vomiting up to 40 times a day alfonso died on july 28 1946 at the age of 35 the first woman saint of india was elevated to sainthood on october 12 2008 by pope benedict the 16th saint alfonso pray for us let's now pay attention to the gospel text of the day a reading from the holy gospel according to matthew chapter 13 verses 18 to 23 at that time jesus said to his disciples hear then the parable of the sower when any one hears the word of the kingdom and does not understand it The evil one comes and snatches away what has been sown in his heart. This is what was sown along the path. As for what was sown on rocky ground, this is the one who hears the word and immediately receives it with joy. Yet he has no root in himself, but endures for a while. and when tribulation or persecution arises on account of the word immediately he falls away as for what was sown among the thorns this is the one who hears the word but the cares of the world and the deceitfulness of riches choke the word and it proves unfruitful as for what was sown on good soil This is the one who hears the word and understands it. He indeed bears fruit and yields, in one case a hundredfold, in another sixty, and in another thirty. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The seed sown on rich soil is the one who hears the word and understands it. My dear brother and sister, 
What is your opinion of the sower in this parable? Do you think he cares about where his seeds land? Perhaps you picture him randomly dropping seeds here and there without a thought. Some seeds land on the path. So be it. Some land on the rocky ground and don't take root. So be it. And some are lucky enough to land on rich soil where they will thrive. So be it. But if God is the farmer who is planting that seed, why would he decide to scatter his seeds on soil that won't bear fruit? What farmer would be so careless? God is not being careless. He just knows that we can change. He knows we aren't stuck with being one type of soil our whole lives. He knows that any kind of soil can be tilled, reclaimed and eventually bear fruit. So he scatters his seed on hearts that are hard and full of weeds. So what are some rocks and thorns that may be in the soil of our hearts? Commenting on this message, Pope Francis suggested that rocky ground might be the superficial heart that doesn't have much soil. When we have rocks of laziness, he said, we don't go deep enough with the Lord because we fail to persevere. The thorns are vices such as idolizing wealth and living only for ourselves and for our possessions. According to Pope Francis, if we cultivate these thorns, we choke God's growth within us. Francis went on to encourage us. When we bring our rocks and thorns to God in confession and prayer, Jesus the good sower will be glad to purify our hearts. My dear brother and sister, spend some time today asking God to show you the rocks and thorns in your life. What might be preventing you from fully hearing and understanding God's word? What might be keeping you from flourishing and bearing fruit for him? Believe that God wants your heart to be rich soil. If you ask him, he will pull out the weeds. And not only that, he will rain down his grace on you so that you can continue to bear fruit for him. Lord, thank you for sending me your word and the grace to hear and understand it. Amen. Brothers and sisters, the refrain of the responsorial comes from John chapter 6 verse 68. These are the words of Peter and apostles after they and others have heard the word of Jesus about his being the bread of life and the necessity of their eating his flesh and drinking his blood. After others have left because of the hardness of his message, Jesus asks his disciples if they too will live. They proclaim, where else can we go? You have the words of everlasting life. The words of Psalm 19 remind us of the importance of the dictates in the word of God. Let's pray that psalm now. Your response? Lord, you have the words of eternal life. Lord, you have the words of eternal life. The law of the Lord is perfect. It revives the soul. 
The decrees of the Lord are steadfast. They give wisdom to the simple. Lord, you have the words of eternal life. The precepts of the Lord are right. They gladden the heart. The command of the Lord is clear. It gives light to the eyes. Lord, you have the words of eternal life. The fear of the Lord is pure, abiding forever. The judgments of the Lord are true. They are all of them just. Lord, you have the words of eternal life. They are more to be desired than gold, than quantities of gold. And sweeter are they than honey, than honey flowing from the comb. Lord, you have the words of eternal life. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Pray for God's blessing now. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear brother and sister, we remember today all those who are celebrating their birthdays, especially Jennifer Aranna from Koppa, Chikmangalore, Karen Fernandez from Sydney, Pauline Angelus Fernandez from Honnavar Kavalaki, Ritika Montero from Tirthali Shumuga, Sweeney Lasrado from Angelore, Mangalore, Wilfred Baptist Pinto from Mudbidri, Alphonse Montero from Nerul, Mumbai. Wish you all a happy birthday. God bless you. It's also the birthday remembrance of late Augustine Francis Fernandez from Para Mapsa Goa. May the Lord grant him eternal rest. That's all for today, my dear friends. Have a great day. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.